Twilight language is a rendering of the Sanskrit term Samjabasa, written also Samjabasa, 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 Wiley, Digong's Pari Skard, THL Gongpik, or of their modern Indic equivalents, especially in Bengali, Odia, Assamese, Maithili, Hindi, Nepali, Braj Basha, and Karaboli. As popularized by Roderick Bucknell and Martin Stewart Fox in The Twilight Language, Explorations in Buddhist Meditation and Symbolism in 1986, the notion of twilight language is a supposed polysemic language and communication system associated with tantric traditions in Vajrayana Buddhism and Hinduism. It includes visual communication, verbal communication and nonverbal communication. Tantric texts are often written in a form of the twilight language that is incomprehensible to the uninitiated reader. As part of an esoteric tradition of initiation, the texts are not to be employed by those without an experienced guide and the use of the twilight language ensures that the uninitiated do not easily gain access to the knowledge contained in these works. The phrase, "...twilight language," has subsequently been adopted by some other Western writers. For example, according to Judith Simmer Brown, As has often been said, tantric texts are written in, "...twilight language," Sanda Basa, Gongpei K, which, as the Hevadra Tantra states, is a secret language, that great convention of the yoginess, which the Shravakas and others cannot unriddle." This means that the texts of Buddhist Tantra cannot be understood without the specific oral commentary by authorized Vajrayana teachers. Usage In the Vajrayana tradition As Bucknell and Stuart Fox state, In the Vajrayana tradition, now preserved mainly in Tibetan sects, it has long been recognized that certain important teachings are expressed in a form of secret symbolic language known as Samjabasa, twilight language. Mudras and mantras, mandalas and kakras, those mysterious devices and diagrams that were so much in vogue in the Buddhist culture of the 1960s, were all examples of twilight language. Numbers, numerology and the spirituality of numerals is key to the twilight language and endemic to Vajrayana, as it is throughout Indian religions. Numbers that are particularly frequent in classification are 3, 5 and 9. As Bucknell and Stuart Fox state, The fivefold classification presented in the Tantras is remarkably comprehensive, embracing objects of every conceivable type. It includes the infamous set of 5 megaseconds, fish, meat, wine, mudra, sexual intercourse and even a set of 5 body fluids. Feces, urine, blood, semen, flesh. In addition, it includes sets of doctrinal principles, such as the five skandhas, factors of existence, the four kayas, Buddha bodies, and the triad prajna, upaya, bodhicitta, wisdom, means, enlightenment mind. For example, prajna, upaya, and bodhicitta are identified with the triads female, male, union, amitabha, aksovya, varakana, and so on, and are thus implicitly assigned to the water, fire, and space groups respectively. In the Pali Canon Although twilight language is primarily a feature of esoteric traditions such as the Vajrayana, Bucknell and Stuart Fox cite the Thai Bhikkhu Buddhadasa as having explored the importance of symbolic language in the Pali Canon in a number of lectures and publications. In Sonipur literature Nayak holds the great fertile locality of Sonipur, Odisha and its literature is championed by such as Chayapada, Matsyendranath, Dharapada and other Naths. The growth of literature at Sonipur can be traced to Chayapada, to Matsyendranath and Dharapada of the Natha cult. They wrote esoteric poetry in language known as Sanjabasa. The local idioms they used are still in currency in this area. Topic. Refutation of the translation of term as twilight language In 1970, Mercure Eliade presented evidence that the concept of twilight or crepuscular language is based on a translation error. According to Eliade, in 1916 Haraprasad Shastri proposed the translation of twilight language. However, in 1928, Vidhushaka Shastri debunked that translation, showing that the term is based on a shortened form of the word sandhaya, which can be translated as having in view, intending, or with regard to. Eliade concludes that, hence, there is no reference to the idea of a twilight language. He continues by speculating on how the term came to be corrupted by scribes who read the familiar word sandhya, crepuscular, for the original sandhya, 
Eliade therefore translates the phrase as intentional language. Style explains, Sanda means esoteric meaning, as contrasted with prima facie or superficial meaning, and suggests to translate Sandhubhasa as secret language. See also Conceptual metaphor Image schema Language of the birds Visual language Visual thinking equals equals notes <laughs>